Congratulations, it's graduation time. And in so many places, there are parents running in all different directions trying to get to their kid's graduation. And kids are also trying to get to their graduation. So to make it an enjoyable experience and not to be so worn out, you wanna be prepared. Now, some things you have to take into consideration. Some of you are already are doing this and you're in the process of all this graduation chaos. There's always a lot of people, remember this. So first of all, you don't wanna skip meals around graduation. You wanna make sure you know where you're gonna eat, what you're gonna eat and when, because if you wait too long, you'll be exhausted. And the graduation ceremony, depending on how many are graduating, can take forever. So some tips on graduation success. You want to make sure that you eat your breakfast and that you find a way to eat your lunch and know exactly where you're going to be going because you cannot at the last minute make a reservation someplace down the street. It's not going to work. You're in, you know, everybody's graduating. It's not just you. So the other thing is to know is where the parking is. You must know where your parking is and if there's any shuttles, because if there's shuttle service, make sure you take advantage of it. You're going to get tired walking super far along across campus. And if you're not prepared with food, it's going to be really tough. I know one time I ended up in a wheelchair because I was so exhausted and my body just couldn't take it anymore. I didn't, I wasn't well prepared with food. So um, just keep that in mind. You must be prepared. The other thing is um, we mentioned parking. Know what you're going to be paying for parking and how long it's going to take to get in and out of the parking lot. Uh, you know, some of these things, they are extended. So if you have to have like some a nut snack in the car or some extra water, make sure you're prepared. Put some extra things in, the, in, in a little container or a little, um, you know, carrying case that is a, a great idea to just have there with some ice in it and some extra water or whatever. You might even want to put a cooler in the back, you know. So think about these things when you're traveling because a lot of people end up traveling to go to these ceremonies. Um, what are your expectations for your students? Okay, students, what are your expectations for your parents? And parents, what are your expectations for the student? And know that not everybody's on the same page and you're going to try to be on the same page because if your parents are taking the time to come and be there for you, you have to be there too. So, you know, be prepared for graduation. I know you probably just went through finals and you're, you're all over the place with everything and you're all excited because this is the next step in life. And, and this is like a, an end of one, one part of you and then moving on to another. So, Congratulations and just, you know, know what the expectations will be for the day, okay? And, and be realistic about it. Okay, now you also have to be very aware of the weather. If it's going to be 90 degrees out there, you got to know what you're going to wear and um, make sure. Now, if you're bringing umbrellas in the sun, just know that there's people behind you. And if you're doing anything else, even if it's raining, you know, we, we have to be aware of what's going on around us. So um, I know that when we went to my son's uh, military uh, for, for boot camp, when he graduated boot camp, we, you know, there were, there were a lot of people and uh, in the stands and there was, it was hot. It was very hot. And so, you know, today is one of these days in Pittsburgh, it's very hot and you got to know Make sure that you either carry some extra water and that you have necessary things. Um, totally up to you if you're going to be within close proximity to other people to wear a mask uh, during COVID. But that is, you know, that's your discretion. Uh, use your best discretion. And, you know, just be wise about walking shoes. Uh, you know, a lot of people are putting on heels and they're walking all these distances and their feet are get, they get blisters and all kinds of things. So be prepared with the best walking shoes you can. And just, I hope that you can enjoy this special time in your life. Um, and if there's anything I missed or that you want to add, please post it below because these are just tips that I come to me that, you know, 
with my experience and what I see around me. But always be aware that it's going to be a bit of a long day and you must be prepared. Have a great day, Food Relationship Coach Diane Allen, Functional Medicine Certified and soon to be Nutrition Counselor. Have a great day.